What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. Do me a favor. Look at that top left hand corner. Just look at that thing. The little yellow duck is here. We are using Psyduck in today's video. You guys did not read the title wrong. You guys did not see the thumbnail wrong. Psyduck is here in ranked battles. So Psyduck, you guys are probably wondering how are we going to use it? This thing is terrible. It can hold the Evo light. On top of that, it has Cloud9 ability really cool ability that can actually cancel out weather effects so if we're going up against say a sun rain or sandstorm team psyduck can just cancel out weather and we won't have to deal with it furthermore it can proc weakness policy on unburdened rock terra sneezler with vacuum wave for first term priority so sneezler has a lot of different options to play with today it also has icy wind for speed control knock off and yawn to put pokemon to sleep so like i said wide variety of moves for psyduck we're rocking out with it today other pokemon on today's team features whimsicott for speed control Ogre Pond for a big time physical attacker. And then we got Chi Yu and Fluttermane. That combo, really, really broken, really, really strong. Cannot go wrong with it. Like I mentioned, we have Sneasler as our final Pokemon that pairs up perfectly with Psyduck with Unburden, Weakness Policy, Close Combat, Acrobatics, Rock Slide to pair up with Rock Terror type. And last but not least, it has Protect. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go showcase Psyduck in Ranked Regulation F. We're hopping into our first match using Psyduck, and we're going up against a Reggie Gigas team, which kind of is a little weird considering they can just take out our abilities. But to be honest, do we really need abilities? I don't know. I kind of want to go Psyduck Sneasel here. I kind of want to rock out with that. They can take away my Unburdened ability, but at that point, we could still outspeed. Plus, Psyduck could be a really good lead if they are going to lead Torkoal and Milligan. So yeah, I'm gonna go Psyduck. I'm gonna go Sneasel here. I think it's a solid lead. In the back end, I do like having Ogre Pond here. Just a nice big time grass type to deal with that Don Dozo. And last but not least, we could just go like Chiyu, or we could just go Chiyu Flutter Me, which is not a bad combo. You have Sunny Day, probably. No, you have nothing. You have Encore. Ooh, Encore could be good. Fake Tears could also be good. I don't want to bring in two support Pokemon. The Psyduck's going to be my support Pokemon. So I'm going to go Fluttermane, Osho, and uh, do I pair it up with Chiyu or do I go Ogre Pond? I think we're just going to pair it up with Chiyu. I still feel as we can do some big time damage to Don Dozo. I like it. I definitely like it. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down and look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But if you guys did not know, it is actually my birthday. Jeans' birthday just turned 25. I'm a whole quarter. Quarter. 25. It's crazy. It's crazy, but I decided I want to use Psyduck today. I was like, yo, it's my birthday. We're rocking out with Psyduck. Once I saw this team, I was like, yo, we are totally using it. But then I'm going Regigigas and Weezing. And uh, we go Psyduck, Cotton Candy Psyduck. We got Shiny and Sneasler. So from here, I think it's pretty good for us to just go Vacuum Wave into Terra and just Rock Slide. We could Rock Slide. We could also Close Combat, which could be nice. Um... I think I still might just Rock Slide, just because I think we can get off some big time damage, and then if we want to next turn, we can always just close combat and stuff. Plus, Regigigas might Terrasalize, being normal type and us being fighting. But I love having Psyduck on the field, yo. His shiny form is phenomenal. Just look at it. Nice cotton candy Psyduck. Plus, it makes it weird Psyduck sound. It's like, wah, wah. And it just, like, does it at random times. So, I love it. I love it. Let's see, he's going to end up protecting Regigigas, which I don't mind. I mean, chances are he's probably going to burn my Sneasler. I would think so with Will-O-Wisp, which is okay. Maybe we can get a flinch and actually save us. That'd be massive. But I go weakness policy with the Psyduck. Now I'm plus two on attack. Rock Slide is going to fly. It's flying here. Give me a flinch on the Weezing. I know it's not KO. I'd be surprised if this KOs. But it goes half. Give me flinch though. Oh my god, I love you. I love you, Sneasler. Big time flinch. Um, so now we could launch a uh, close combat here if we want to. Um, could also go for vacuum weave if we want to. Um, icy wind knock off yawns. Um, our best play would probably be to just take off Weezing's item here. Just get rid of it. He might even protect here, and we're just gonna go for a close combat into the Regigigas slot. It could be Ghost Terror type. It could definitely be Ghost Terror type. But I'm going to say it doesn't even Terrasalize this turn. And it does. God dang it, man. Hopefully that's Weezing. Hopefully that's Weezing. Because this is definitely going to be Ghost Regigigas. No Ghost. 
fairy. Okay, I mean, I'd rather be fairy than ghost, so at least we get off some sort of damage here. And we'll kind of go from there. Close combat, gonna fly. Bop. Big time damage, though. We love that damage. My defense is dropping, so I'm definitely dead very, very soon. And he's gonna go for a drain punch, KO me, get back some HP. Okay, that's fine. That's no big deal for me. It's not that big of a deal. The Regigigas actually gets back a ton of HP. We don't like this. We don't like this. And Sneasler goes out here. So that, that was a big time fairy terror type for him. Should maybe just spam and rock slide. Could have been good. And Sadok's going to take off leftovers or black sludge. And then you're going to go for a gunk shot. You should soak this, Sadok. Yeah, Sadok rather bulky. But he's going to take a poison. Okay, not that big of a deal. Um, Does she have protect on? Because if it does, I'm going to try to put Regigigas to sleep. I'm going to try to put him to sleep. I mean, you can't go for Drain Punch into me. I could just start spamming my moves. I do get booster energy with this, which I will boost. Speed or special attack? Speed. That's a fast one. That's fast. Um, I'm thinking of just throwing out Chiyu, using that as a big-time decoy, and then probably just going for a yawn onto the Regigigas, trying to put that thing to sleep. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm just going to protect. Hopefully he looks at it, he's like, hey, I'm going to drain punch that. So we protect the little fish. Or hopefully they just go after Psyduck, because I kind of want Psyduck off the field at this point, right? I would kind of want Psyduck off the field. So there's the drain punch. Um, I think now's a decent time for us to swap into Fluttermane. And just let that thing go to sleep, right? So I'm going to yawn you. He's going to have one turn until he goes to sleep. And Psyduck is slowly taking poisons. <laughs> He's just so slowly getting poisoned. The chances are he wants to go for another Drain Punch, right? Chances are he definitely wants to go for another Drain Punch. I am going to go for Knock Off here, take off this item. And I am just going to Hard Swap into Flutter. Flutter, Flutter. It's going to come out here. Because I think Drain Punch is flying. Yo, Psyduck's still on the field. My dog. My diggy dog, Psyduck. Look at him. This build's so funny. There's another Drain Punch. We make a big time read. It does not affect me. We get off a knockoff. Psyduck outspeeding Weezing. And we get to take off item. What are we holding? Clear your amulet. Okay, nothing crazy. And Heat Wave's gonna fire. Okay. I mean, I don't mind it. No burns allowed, right? The poison's chipping up the duck. Night Night to Regigigas, which is pretty powerful. Um, I am a little scared of Sludge Bomb. I am definitely terrified of Sludge Bomb. But from here, we are just gonna start Icy Wind. Slowing down everything. And did we just Moon Blast? No, I think we just Dazzle Gleam. Could actually Shadow Ball. The Weezing. Weezing could protect here. Weezing could protect. I'm actually just going to Moon Blast for Giga. It's reading a Weezing Protect. Doesn't. I should have Shadow Balled it. The Moon Blast is going to chunk up some big time damage. Regigigas is still slumped. Probably going for a Gunk Shot. We're hoping he's actually going to miss a Gunk Shot. That could be pretty good for us. It could be pretty lovely for us. And he's gonna go for a gunk shot. Do we dodge it? Big time dodge. That's a big time dodge. Bro. That's a big time dodge. I'm gonna take a little bit more damage here, Psyduck. Getting pretty low on HP here. Um, our best bet is to probably just go for knockoff for bigger damage and just go for a dash and gleam, right? Because I don't want Regigigas waking up and getting a turn off here. That'd be bad. That'd be bad news. So I'm gonna go for dash and gleam. I don't think it's gonna KO this Weezing. But I don't mind taking a gunk shot. Let's be honest here. I should be able to eat up a gunk shot from the region. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. Can you just miss another gunk shot? I know Psyduck ain't picking up a KO. Good, Psyduck. Pick up a KO. Get a crit. Nah, no shot. Gunk shot again. Did we dodge another one? Oh my god, Fluttermane. <laughs> Fluttermane going crazy. Psyduck getting off a lot of value. I like the Psyduck. I like the Psyduck, dude. I liked it. Knockoffs were going crazy. It did proc the weakness policy. If that Regigigas did not Fairy Terra, it would have helped Sneasler pretty much just set up and sweep. Could have been pretty big. But now they're going to go out into Don Dizzy. So Don Dizzy comes out here. A little annoying here. Um, we're gonna we're forced to kind of just go into a Dazzle Gleam. On top of that, we're kind of forced to go into... I wish we had our Terra type because we're probably Grass, right? No, ground. Wouldn't have helped out regardless. We're kind of forced to go into a big time Dark Pulse. So I'm going to go Dark Pulse here. I'm just going to go into a Dazzling Gleam. Just in case Weezing wants to stay on the field. And it does. 
So Dazzling Gleam gonna chunk up nice damage onto Danto. So we do have a flinch chance with Dark Pulse. And now our abilities are here though too, which is good. I get the uh, little beads of ruin. So I'll get that nice boost in special attack. Dark Pulse is gonna fly. How much damage are we doing? We're KO. That's massive. That just puts us in a perfect position to win this game. Psyduck and Fluttermane dodging moves. Putting us in a great position. Psyduck, yo. <laughs> Cotton Candy Psyduck. We love it. Tatsugiri is going to be the final Pokemon. Them not swapping let me think that there wasn't a Tatsugiri on the team. But now it's sitting here. And I believe there is Tatsugiri on the team now. But from here, I'm just going to go into a Dark Pulse. I can now go into a Dashing Gleam. They already used Terror type. And this match is over with. That first match went perfectly. Psyduck being showcased, pop weakness policy, used Icy Wind, taking off items. He did it all. He did everything it possibly can, and I love it. And we're going to be using it again here. We're going up against a Shrewl Edge team with Ogre Pond. I should say Wellspring Ogre Pond. Alongside with Shen Pao, Dragonite. And then they got, who are those last two? Iron Hands and Gouging Fire. So I could go Sneasler. I could also go Psyduck, and I'm kind of leaning towards that. But I could also go Whimsicott here. I mean, they have a lot of first turn priority, which kind of stinks. But I could always fake tier, which is nice. Fake tier's always solid. But you know what? Screw it. We're going Psyduck, Sneasel again. Our opponent's seeing Psyduck, and I gotta showcase the power of it. But I feel bad for our last opponent. They have to, like, go home, or they're probably already home. They have to go tell whoever they're living with that they lost to Psyduck on the ladder. Psyduck gave him a whooping. But I'm going Sneasel or Psyduck here again. We might just go same squad. But I kind of like the Fluttermane here. Or I could just go Fluttermane and Ogre Pond, which is not too shabby because because uh, Chiyu's kind of eh here. So I'm, I, I, again, I just like the Ogre Pond a bit better. Chiyu's kind of eh. Because if they go Flash Fire with the uh, with the Cerule Edge, they also have the Ogre Pond, the Dragon, or the Dragonite, I should say, with the Dragon Typing, Gouging Fire. Just a lot of things Flut or Chiyu doesn't really pair up well. So I like Fluttermane. But I don't like Chiyu, so I'm going to bring Fluttermane along with Ogre Pond instead of the Chiyu. But they're going to end up leading Cerule Edge and Iron Hands. Now, who are you going to fake out is the real question. Please don't let it be my Sneasler. I might just protect my Sneasler this turn. Let the Duck kind of do its thing. Maybe go for a knockoff. Kind of go that way. Knock off your item. Because you're probably clear admit. You're probably, like, buried or something. I'm going to actually knock off Iron Hands right now. I'm going to knock off and just protect the Sneasler because, if anything, he's going to fake out the Sneasler rather than the Psyduck, right? Like, who's who's who sees the Psyduck as a threat? You're not going to fake out the Psyduck. You, you just don't have the Moxie to do it. You still have the Moxie to do it. But Cotton Candy Psyduck on the field. Look at his three little hairs. I love this little Pokemon. A little Psyduck. I might have to change his color in the thumbnail to match that color right there. Instead of using normal yellow Psyduck. If I forget to change his color, you guys gotta yell at me. Like, yo, Jeans, you said in match number two you were gonna change the color. But he's gonna end up terrestrializing Iron Hands early on here. Into Ghosts. Thinking, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm going for knockoff in that slot, which helps damage output, but Psyduck not really doing too much. If he goes Ghost here, I just protect the Seasler kind of kind of just to deal with Fake Out. He might not even be going for it. You are. And I told you, you don't have the moxie to fake out Psyduck. I told you that already. But this actually works pretty good for me. Because they're actually double down in the Sneasler. And at this point, I can now Rock Terra? Well, first of all, we got off the item on the Iron Hands. What did you have anyway? A Soul Vest. That's, I, I, I like getting rid of a Soul Vest. But now, I can go into Vacuum Wave. Into Sneasler, I can Terrasalize and Rock Slide. Which should KO Cerule Edge and do massive damage on the Iron Hands. We love it. We love it. I'm in it. I'm in for it. They use their terror too, so Sledge cannot escape this. I know our opponent's scared. They're sitting there like, yo, what is Psyduck gonna do? Psyduck's doing it all, man. Taking off items. I'm actually loving Psyduck today. This is a very easy Psyduck to use too. Usually when you use like crazy Pokemon like this, they're kind of hard to use, but this one is straight through. He's just doing his thing. Popping weakness policy. Speed control, you name it. Seems to doing it all. He's doing it all. So vacuum wave gonna fly here. Unburdened Sneezler's out speeding. Rock Terra Rock Side. We just gotta hope that the Rock Side double connect here. Right? If it doesn't double connect, I hope it at least lands in Cerule Edge. But there we go. Plus two on attack. Rock Side does double connect. We should say bye-bye to Cerule Edge here. 
and we do it. Iron Hands takes a huge chunk of damage. Oh, baby. Now, what are you going for? No Drain Punch is allowed. Heavy Slam. That's fine. That's not fine. Why did I think for a second that Steel was not very effective on the rock? It's super effective. Okay, we'll take that, though. I'll take that all day. I will take that all day, because now I can just bring out Fluttermane. You don't have Assault Bust, which is gorgeous. Um, and I mean, what could I do with Psyduck? Just keep taking off items? Slow him down? I mean, Fluttermane's already out speeding, but it's more so for the Ogre Pond. But they're going to go on an Ogre Pond of their own. Um, I could see him just putting on a mask here, right? I could definitely see the mask coming out here. But 1000 Gleam should finish off this Iron Hands without Assault Bust. I'm going to go for a knockoff here. And I'm just going to go for a Dazzling. Lead. So it ends up withdrawing Iron Hands. Okay, so he wants to fake out back. Can't put on Mask, which is good. And Shen Pao is going to fly through here, which is great. Because if you are... Yo, we have a, we have a side up KO chance here. Because if you're Focus Sash, this should bring you down. And it does. And Psyduck has Vacuum Wave. Psyduck, dude. Psyduck has a KO chance. Everybody stay calm. Everybody stay calm. That KO'd me, really? That kind of sucks. That does suck. But I do have a KO chance. Psyduck has a KO chance. Getting rid of your item. Getting rid of your mask. <laughs> but, um, Psyduck has a KO chance. Psy Dizzy has a KO chance. Send it. Send it. KO you. Pull leech into you. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Are you gonna? You could be going for follow me, which could be a problem. But I'm gonna say you don't go for follow me. If you go for follow me, I don't. Uh, it's gonna be tough. But we definitely have a shot at winning this match. We definitely have a shot. I don't know if Hornley can even KO that Ogre Pond. Chen Pao's gonna end up protecting. That's fine. I mean, you're probably gonna go for Hornley in a side duck, which kind of sucks. Can I just outspeed and KO this thing? That'd be massive. I doubt it though. You might just outspeed me. Yeah, you do. And you're going for Woodhammer into my Ogre Pond. And I survive. Oh my god, we might win this match. We might win this match. I thought he was going to Horn Leech to Psyduck. Oh my lord. Psyduck staying strong here. Stay strong, Psyduck. Stay strong. Alright. So from here, we have Iron Hands low HP. Real low HP. He can fake out my Psyduck. He definitely can. I'm going to have to go for Vacuum Wave. And I think I'm going to have the Spiky Shield here. Or I could just go Ivy Cudgel. Because I'm, try I'm trying to think. He's definitely going to fake out. Um, do I just go Follow Me instead? I think I just Spiky Shield. Because I don't think you KO my Psyduck. Unless you go for Wild Charge instead. But if you go for Wild Charge, it means Shen Pao is dead. So I'm just going to Spiky Shield you... And if you fake out the Psyduck, I don't think you can KO the Psyduck with, with a Shen Pao move. Let's see. You're going to fake out the Duck. He does have Evil Light. And what are you going for here? That's the real question. What are you going for? Sacred Sword. You should soak. I love you, Psyduck. I love you. So we're going to keep spamming this. We're now going to go for an Ivy Cudgel here. Actually, what does more damage? Ivy Cudgel all day. We're going to go for an Ivy Cudgel. And Shen Pao is going to protect. So as long as Ivy Cudgel picks up the KO... We win this match. And we're still waiting for Psyduck to get a KO. This thing's been protecting like crazy. So Ivy Cudgel for the win. Oh, baby. Our opponent's in a terrible position. A terrible position. Psyduck might not pick up the KO. Because you could just sucker punch me. But I'm still going to go for Vacuum Wave. On top of that, I'm just going to double down with the Ivy Cudgel. In case they sucker punch Psyduck. And they just cancel battle. They don't allow my Psyduck to get a KO. Moving on to our final match. And I did not expect us to do this well with Psyduck. We are 2-0. And this Pokemon has been on the field for pretty much the whole first and second match. But now we're going up against an Ursaluna and Frigoraph team with Fire Ogre Pond, Urshifu. Um, who else is that? Tornadus and Fluttermane. So I'm going to just go, in, gonna go into Psyduck again and sneeze him. Because I can. And I want to. Right? And then Chiyu Fluttermane. Seems pretty nice. Seems pretty simple. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Instead of Chiyu, did we go Ogre Pond, though? Yes. Yes. I like it a bit better here. Considering if that is Water Urshfu. 
Chi is just gonna get dumped on by it. And then Ogre Punk can be countered that. I like it. I like it a lot. So that's gonna be our final matchup here. Or this is gonna be our final matchup. And we're looking for a perfect record with Side Duck with the Cotton Candy Duck. The Cotton Candy Duck. Cool. Alright, so Ogre Pond, Frigraph come out here. Um, I think it's safe to just go Vacuum Wave. Actually, actually, can we go? Yeah, we can go Vacuum Wave into our own Pokemon. And Rock Slide. I'm cool if you pop Trick Room. If you pop Trick Room, it's no big deal because at that point I just protect Sneasel and then yawn. But I think we just try to pick up a KO onto the Ogre Pond here, right? And I know our opponent's looking confused here. They're like, dude, what is this Psyduck gonna do? Just staring at me like... Psyduck, bro. All right, cool. So we Terrasilize, Rock Terra out and about, baby. We ready to rip Rock Terra. I believe we can still use Vacuum Wave onto our own Pokemon. Correct statement, Jeans? Correct statement. Cool. Vacuum Wave comes out here. Pop nice, lovely weakness policy. Ogre Pond, chances are you're dead. And Frig Rap, maybe we flinch it? I would love to flinch it. It'd be a big time flinch. Bye bye, Ogre Pond. See you later, Ogre Pond. And big time damage onto Friggies. Friggies taking big time damage. Show me flinch. Okay, I, I, I don't mind that either. I don't mind that either. Because I thought you were just going to pop Trick Room. Because now I can kill you with another Rock Side. Alright, cool. So now I'm chilling here, Psyduck, ready to roll. I could start Yawn. Yawn might be the play. Maybe Yawn the Frig Graph and KO whatever Pokemon comes out here on the left side. Let's see, it's gonna be Ursaluna. No Trick Room popped, which is good for us. No Trick Room did pop. I think I'm just gonna Yawn you and just Rock Slide. Yeah, cause I, I kinda need to make sure Frig Graph goes down here. I kinda need to make sure Frig Graph goes down here, cause you could just protect the Ursaluna and go in the Trick Room, which would be bad news for us. So if I just pop Rock Slide and it connects, we get rid of Friggies. We get to thrive out here pretty well. I don't think they were expecting this combo. They're gonna Terrasilize. I think this is gonna be Ursaluna, correct? Yep, Ursaluna Bear gonna go Ghost. Gonna go normal. It is gonna go normal. I don't I don't I don't mind that too much. I mean you might KO my sneeze up, but I am gonna put you to sleep. Rockside gonna connect. You can say bye bye to Friggies. Get some big time damage on you. Maybe we get a flinch. We love a good old rock slide flinch. Show me a rock slide flinch. And now you're just gonna earth power cam. Okay, no big deal. I don't mind it, cause now I get to yawn you. Ursa Luna Bear, go to sleep, buddy. So we're gonna get this yawn off here. Um, they don't have Trick Room up, so Ursa Luna not that valuable. And I could just go into Fluttermane. I could just protect Fluttermane, let's be honest. Let's see who they go into. Depends who they bring out. If I protect Fluttermane or not. If they go Urshfu, I'm not going to protect Fluttermane. But if they go anybody else, I'll probably just protect Fluttermane. Now comes our final Pokemon. Is it Urshifu? It is, so we're not going to protect Fluttermane. We simply will not protect Fluttermane. It's Dark Urshfu. So yeah, I'm just going to honestly just go into a... Vacuum wave here, chip up damage on that slot, and then just go for a Moonbus. Actually, we'll double down on Ursaluna. Because I don't want Ursaluna doing big time damage. You could Sucker Punch my Fluttermane, but I think Fluttermane might soak. The Vacuum Wave is going to fly out here. Not bad. I think that allows Dazzling Gleam to actually pick up the KO on Ursaluna. And it does. And Urshfu's not Focus Ash. And we just pick up the KO. The beautiful Psyduck going 3-0 and in today's video. Who would have guessed it? There you go, ladies and gentlemen, 3-0 with the duck that is Psy. Psy duck killing it on the rank ladder today and actually doing a lot of work. Vacuum wave, pop a weakness policy on Sneasler, Icy Wind slowing Pokemon down, knock off, taking off items, and then yawn, putting Pokemon to sleep. I feel like we use Psy duck to its fullest potential and I absolutely love it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.